So this guide is going to help you get your already hacked 3DS console that you see here, yeah, this one, or the one on the table right now, to be back up and running if you accidentally formatted it, you bought it hacked, and you don't know what to do, or you broke your SD card or something. Yeah, that's something that happens too. Some people break their SD cards, or their SD card gets corrupted for any unknown reason. This is going to be for those that are on the latest version. As of today, I am on 11.17, and this is for the US variant. If you have like a Japanese one and you've converted it properly or something in the past, then this should work for you. I'm not gonna guarantee it. This is for the 11.17 American version, so the USA version. Now, I'm not gonna guarantee this works for you. Now, this is like the generic hacks uh, guide files that are supplied from the generic hacks guide files and it's really not that hard to understand once you actually get into it because honestly the system is already hacked no matter what the case may be so this should work with an already hacked 3ds xl that is also an ll variant as well if you want me to do a video to confirm this i do have an ll variant that is actually a converted one that used to be from Japan and I converted it to the North American region. I did a video about that as well. Then comment on the comment section and subscribe because I'm doing videos like this more again just because I like to keep things mixed up on the channel. And I've had somebody, or actually I had a few people ask me how to do this. So now after I rebooted the system there, as you saw on the table, I am back into this menu. But there's also another way you can get into this menu and that's by holding the start button and the power button. This also confirms if your 3DS or 3DS XL is already hacked. Yes, this works for 2DS, 3DS, doesn't matter on the variant, it works for all of them, as long as you're on 11.17. Now, you're gonna power down your system, you're gonna grab your micro SD card of choice, and you're gonna plug it into your computer. Now, over on your computer, you're gonna see your micro SD card pop up, but we have to do something first because the 3DS only reads SD cards if they're formatted to FAT32. So the first thing we're gonna do over on the computer is navigate to your web browser of choice and go to this website right here, which is Rufus. You're gonna download and install Rufus. Now, it's a tool that you can delete after if you want to, but it's actually a really helpful tool for a lot of many reasons, a lot of many reasons, a lot of reasons. So download and install it, double click on it, and a little dialog window is going to pop up that says, do you want to install this? Just say yes. Now you're going to drag that file folder over onto your main display so you can actually see it. I have three monitors, so whatever. And you're going to make sure that you select the right drive. Now you're going to determine this by looking at the left-hand side of your screen, and you can see that this is drive F. But if you had multiple drives installed on your computer, you want to just make sure you're not formatting the wrong one. Now, in where it says boot selection, click on non-bootable. Where it says volume label, you can just erase that. And where it says file system, make sure you select large FAT32. Cluster size, make sure you only select 32 kilobytes. And then under here, it'll say show advanced format options. Click on that. And then you're going to uncheck the create extended label and icon files and click on start. Click OK. Wait for it to do its thing. Once it says it's ready, then your window will pop back up. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to download the 3DS Hacks DMG Starter Pack updated to 2025, right click on it, and extract all. Another dialog window is going to pop up on your screen, and you're going to click extract. Now inside this folder, drag all of these files, so basically grab all these files, right click, and click copy. Navigate to your F drive or whatever drive your SD card is and paste those files right there. Now these have just generic CIA files for the generic homebrew applications that we're going to download. And you can get all of the other applications through the universal updater if you've connected to the internet. If you can't connect to the internet for any unknown reason, then you can just download all the CIA files afterwards and install them manually. But we're going to do this all automatically using the internet. So grab your SD card out and plug it back into your 3DS console. So now we're back on our 3DS. I'm gonna plug this in and we're going to press that start button again, like I said to do in the beginning. And you're going to make sure that this option right here, which says show NAND or user string and system settings is checked off. That is very important for this to work. And we're going to now click on start and click on save and exit. 
Now that we're booted back into our 3DS, we're going to navigate down to the Download Play app after it's done creating the home menu and press A. Now you're going to click on this L button, the Down button, and the Select button. Now if the menu doesn't pop up right away, just try it again. That's just probably because you have sticky buttons. And then we should be inside of the Rosalina menu. Now you're going to navigate all the way down to the miscellaneous settings and you're going to click on A where it says switch the HB title to the current app and press A and then it should say operation succeeded. Now press B, press B again, press B again and press the home button to close out of the actual menu. Click OK and click close. Now that part's very important because we're going to navigate back to the download play and that should generate the file to turn it into the homebrew menu as you can see right here or the homebrew launcher. Now press A on the FBI or just select it with your finger or your pen whatever you want to do. Now you're going to go to the SD card so the SD directory you're going to go down to CIAs. Now you're going to hold down the L button again and press X or sorry press A and then you're going to click on install and delete all CIAs. Click yes and wait for it to install all of these CIA files. Yes, it's pretty funny that it's called FBI and CIA, isn't it? Now click OK, click the home button. And now we're going to get a whole bunch of presents like it's Christmas. So click OK and open up your presents. And the very important step that I'm going to show you here, guys, before you actually get going is to make sure that you go into the Universal Updater and make sure that you update the Universal Updater and you update Lumus. So you should already have Lumus updated because I have the latest version installed. But if you want to make sure and this is in like 2029 or something, then just go to the Lumus and I will show you how to do that in a second here. Press any key to continue. Of course, obviously, there's no any key. Press the A button. And then you're going to navigate back into the Universal Updater. And the Universal Updater is basically like your homebrew store in a sense, where you can get your applications for emulating GBA, Game Boy Color. You can get random uh, homebrew games and applications that people have created. Obviously, you can get those elsewhere, like on the internet and stuff as, as well. But as you can see here, this is the change log. And then we are in this menu. Now I highly recommend you to go down here to go to Luma 3DS, press A on this, and then press A again, press confirm, and this will just download the latest version of Luma, which is very important. Now again, this is where you can get all of your other applications, so like MGBA for example, and that will actually install onto your system if you actually select the right version of it and everything. But I'm going to have another video for that as well, because I haven't really covered what you can do after you hack your 3DS, and I'm going to do that. So this is it. This is how you basically kind of rehack your 3DS and set it all back up after it's been formatted or maybe you bought one from Japan that was already hacked and you need to set it all up like I just did. Have a nice day guys. Hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of content. Share this with anybody else and all that fun jazz. As always, like Mario says, bye bye